laboring towards a common purpose, a stylized vision of nation building. Tom Roberts' 18th century masterpiece, Shearing the Rams, is a beloved Australian painting. You turn a corner at the National Gallery of Victoria, and there it is, the archetypal Australian painting, capturing a moment in the building of the nation. Set in a shearing shed in the Riverina area of New South Wales, we have the shearers, a roustabout carrying the fleece, the tar boy, actually modelled by a young girl, the farm or station owner, as well as distant assorted other figures. The tar boy is looking up at us, the tar swab at the ready should any of the rams be nicked in the shearing process and need to have their wound sealed with hot tar. In the front, a classic, well-muscled, hard-working Australian shearer, working with his hand-held manual shears. The powered shears having only just started to appear around the time of this painting in 1890, but not yet at this shed. To his left, another shearer bringing in a ram, and to his left, the roustabout, a less skilled worker with a number of general skills who moved about being helpful. On the right, the station owner. It might seem strange to have the owner sitting in the shed watching the workers, until you remember it is the rams that are now being shorn, the most valuable sheep on the station. For Roberts, the owner provides an edge, anchoring the right of the painting, and completes his survey of all participants, their social order beginning lowest at the tar boy, through the roustabout, the shearers, and then the owner. Indeed, more than simply a moment in time, the painting gives us a stylized rendering of harmonious labor, men working towards a common goal, all in their places, so to speak. This is interesting because the amalgamated Shearers Union had only recently been formed. With considerable influence, the pejorative term is militant, the union promoted the dignity of work and of workers, concepts with which Roberts also had sympathies. Yes, he seems to be saying, we can all work together, each justly recompensed for his labour, each in their role. Rounding out the workers, we see a couple of figures organising the rams into their pens at the back, a couple of men receiving a fleece from another roustabout, a shearer taking a break to swig from a large bottle, and a man sharpening a pair of shears. Nothing would be more frustrating than bending over a cantankerous ram and finding your shears were dull. Tom Roberts, an Australian artist and foundation member of the Heidelberg School of Australian Impressionists, said of shearing the rams that, being in the bush and feeling the delight and fascination of the great pastoral life and work, I have tried to express it. He made around 80 sketches in preparation for the painting, including this one also held in the National Gallery of Victoria, titled First Sketch for Shearing. He worked on getting the atmosphere right. One of the jobs of the model for the tar boy was to regularly kick up the dust on the floor to filter the light. There is controversy about how much was painted in the shed and how much back at the studio, but that doesn't really matter. He has captured the atmosphere, the rhythm of work, attention to the job, and a sense of productivity. Shearing was an important time when the fruits of all the labour of the station could be harvested and packed into bales for sale. The painting's composition gives us strong verticals leading towards the featured shearer. His two-toned shirt, a bit of showing off from the artist, is light, providing a good contrast to the shearer's head and beard, drawing our eye in. The diagonals lead us to the indistinct back of the shed, suddenly bursting with strong sunlight through the open door at the back, with an impression of filtered light. Enclosed at the top, anchored at the right by the owner and the left by the roustabout, our eyes quickly focus on the main shearer. But the tar boy! Right in the centre of the painting is the smiling face of the tar boy as he, she, looks up at us. It was probably meant to be a boy, although a girl was used as the model, and no matter what, the role title would have remained as Tar Boy. And there he is, a flash of smile, looming out of the darker back of the shed, a 
kind of second focus, which some feel is a mistake, but which I think adds interest. My first point of focus was the main shearer, as intended, I think. But upon looking deeper, the tar boy is next. He has acknowledged our presence and helpfully holds his tar stick forward so that we can understand his role. As we follow the diagonal back from the front shearer, we pass over five shearers in total and maybe a sixth to one side, all in differing poses, showing off the various positions a shearer needed to take to manhandle the sheep and get to the point of being able to shear the complex shape of the animals as they moved and flinched under the shearer. It was hard physical work requiring strength, expertise and care. Roberts is celebrating both the shearers themselves and the roles of those supporting them in the work. As a whole, the scene has encapsulated an important time in Australia. When Australia rode on the sheep's back and wool was its most important export. The introduction of powered shears would have sped the process up, but this means the old records for number of sheep shorn in a day for handheld shears are now immortalised, never being able to be beaten now. Various attempts at shearing machines have been attempted, but nothing has replaced the skill of the shearer, and if Tom Roberts visited a shearing shed today, he would still recognise the activities undertaken there. By putting all of the roles of the shed within the frame of this one picture, executing it on a large scale and capturing the energy and atmosphere of the shearing shed, Roberts has preserved for us this moment in Australia's history. Tom Roberts, Shearing the Rams. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press like. If you want to be notified when I put out more reactions to great art, please subscribe. See you next time.